Mr. President, One. international lawyer in co is concerned about the ongoing and widespread violations of Palestinian rights caused by the intentional action of Israel with the purpose of destroying these people in whole or in part. This Council has a responsibility to act immediately to end these violations and Israel impunity for genocide. We also would like to draw your attention to the vi vi violence in Iraq, Syria, Libya and Afghanistan that has caused massive violations of human rights. We note that all of these violations were caused by the United States and its allies' illegal use of force. Nevertheless, the U.S. has done little to help these people. Moreover, in even specific cases, the U.S. seemed to encourage violations of human rights. In Iraq, for example, Shoki Ahmed Omar has been arbitrarily detained and tortured by the U.S. and Iraq for more than a decade. No action has been taken to implement the 2014 working group on arbitrary detention decision calling for its release. Even the U.S. vice presidential candidate, Tim Kaine, who is Shoki's senator, refuses to assist his constituents. Similarly, countless cases of unfair trial, torture, arbitrary detention and execution have been documented in Egypt, where the military took power through inconstitutional means and remains in power with the support of the U.S. In Switzerland, a U.S. ally, Mohamed al hanian remains arbitrarily detained and scared for life by the Swiss authorities who imprisoned him a decade ago. According to his lawyer, this was due to his refusal to spy on Muslims. He has never been convicted with any offense, and his detention was ordered by Swiss security officials in clear violation of his human rights. We welcome the concern of the Special Rapporteur on Water regarding the plight of women and girls who are increasingly denied the access to water. We urge him to review dam projects denying such rights. Finally, we are shocked at the fact that some states continue to deny the right to development as a basic human right. This right is found in treaties as well as multiple instruments reiterating its customary value. Denying the right to development brings disrepute to the Council. This must stop. Thank you.